So the first step in this look is to just grab your extensions and just brush them out really quickly. Make sure that you are brushing it out till there are no knots at all, just to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the waves and when you're trying to comb it when it's on your head it doesn't pop off because you're trying to detangle it on your head. So these are my Bellamy Dirty Blonde 18 inches or 20. These are my 20 inch um, Bellamy's and Dirty Blonde and I only put on four pieces. I put on the four piece, the three piece, and two of the two pieces. Okay, so now that I have my four pieces nice and combed, I'm going to start oh, applying them from back to front. And I'm going to be parting my hair at my ear line. All right, so I put the three piece all the way in the back. And then I part it just a little bit higher, not too high, because you don't want it to show through your hair, like the track. All right, so now I'm going to apply the two two pieces up here. So you see where your, where my eyebrows end? That's where I'm going to just circle around my head and do that. All right, so now that we have all of our weave in, now we're going to start waving our hair. The one that I'm going to be using is my Remington one inch to one and a half inch, and it's already hot. And my Tresemme hairspray. I'm going to be parting my hair around the middle, just making sure that the, my side tracks are going to be in the top part of my hair. So I'm going to be parting it like this. And just tying this up in the top. Alright, so I like to comb out my hair just to make sure that my extensions are mixing in with my natural hair. So for this piece of hair, to create the effect of the wave, you want to place your wand halfway down. Halfway down, not too close to your roots, just halfway down. And then you want to twist the hair like this, just once around the wand and make sure that your ends are not touching the wand because when your ends are touching the wand that creates more of a curl not a wave so you want to make sure that you're doing it like this just in the middle of your hair and pull that back and for this I'm grabbing big sections of hair so that the look looks a little bit more effortless and depending on the length of your hair you want to wrap it more or less so like this remember leave a good what is this like two inches of hair at the bottom final piece for the bottom part and this is actually an extremely quick look just because of the fact that you can grab like bigger pieces of hair so it's not going to take forever grabbing like two pieces of hair at a time Alright, so now that we're done with the bottom half of our hair, you see how it looks a little bit odd right now because the ends are very straight and the middle is really curly and then the top is not. So that looks odd in the beginning, but once um, you're done with the look, you'll see how it's all going to come together. Alright, so now for the top part of my hair, I'm going to split this top section in half and then I'll just do one at a time. So I'm going to start from back to front because obviously in the back area you can grab bigger pieces and as you get to the front you have to grab smaller pieces. And for the front piece is the most important one. You're only doing literally out all the way at the end almost one
Now that we're done with the curling part of the hair, the first thing I'm going to do is put on a, a little bit of hairspray just to lock the curls, the waves, and make sure that they're not going to come out. All right, so now we're going to start breaking up these waves to make them look a little bit more effortless and undone. So I'm just running my fingers through them. If you have some kind of like wide comb, wide comb, wide tooth comb, you can definitely use that instead. But I'm just, you know, using my fingers the old fashioned way. You're going to grab little random pieces of hair up here and just kind of curl them in opposite directions just to have a little bit of texture in your hair. So I'm going to curl this one going back. And then I'm going to grab another random piece of hair and curl it going forward. And you're just going to do that throughout your head. And then same thing on the other side. And the reason why we're doing this is to add a little bit of volume and texture to the top of our head. Because you see how this side looks a little flat. And then this side you can see like the curls are more integrated into the hair. So now that we're done, we're going to... Loosen up those top waves a little bit by pulling on them just so the hair can kind of like break apart and not stick all together like an actual curl. So now I'm going to grab a little bit of coconut milk and I'm going to just run it through my hair. So this is my final result for my Khloe Kardashian waves. This is a closer look at the hair. You see how it's all effortless looking waves. It's not too curly. Some of them go in different directions. The bottom is a little bit straight. And here is the same on the other side.